flow designer okay uh, in this flow designer we will take one scenario uh, to uh, create create a problem when p1 incident okay so create a problem record when p1 incident is resolved okay uh, why uh, this incident uh, why this problem we have to create uh, for this in service now for this also one reason uh, behind this even incident is coming the priority is very high and uh, the issue is uh, too critical that's why uh, some means issue is crit too critical and it is uh, impacting more uh, means globally uh, not only for the particular request or not only for the particular table or nothing it's uh, glo uh, impacting globally for all users uh, so it should be the p1 incident and uh, after i mean uh, it, if issue is coming occurring again and again then we have to create the problem record for that so uh, today we will learn how to uh, create automatically create problem record when the p1 incident is resolved so uh, let's open our uh, uh, instance so this is our in service now instance so this is my per, uh, personal developer instance and in this uh, developer instance we have to uh, learn flow designers means uh, for these uh, things for, for achieving this thing we have two ways to do this uh, one which is the business rule and second one which is the flow designer so uh, uh, flow designer is, is very uh, important in service now so this is and uh, in, it is the easiest way to uh, uh, achieve our requirement so we should use the flow designer means as for my understanding I, we can use the flow designer and uh, uh, if you uh, if you are good with the business rule uh, so you can go with the business rule both are both are fine so start with the the uh, overview of flow designer uh, means if we click on the uh, means go in here and if we type here flow designer designer then under process automation you will get the process designer uh, flow flow designer and here you can see this is the home page of uh, flow designer uh, here you can see playbooks flows subflows triggers actions decision tables all you can find here only so uh, we uh, we want to create new one so we will create click on new button and here is the flow okay so we have to create new flow then just we have to give our, give the name or name for this flow so create create a problem incident okay and this should be the global uh, means uh, this application should be the global description you can uh, check uh, type any p1 incident and the field flow this is the optional uh, description is optional so after you uh, uh, click on the submit that uh, means create the flow then it will show like this this is the trigger condition and this is the actions so first we have to set the trigger condition uh, as a uh, uh, means when we want the um, trigger our uh, records means when we want to trigger our flow so uh, at, uh, we have three types of flows uh, which is the record created created or updated and updated and second which which is the schedule schedule is basically for the date uh, means uh, like when it should be scheduled like uh, daily monthly like that uh, here we can you can see daily monthly repeat run once weekly uh, like this uh, you means for this uh, we can use the uh, schedule means if we want the scheduler report then we can use this also and this uh, this is the application so application is uh, in the sense key we can uh, use this for the integration 
uh, integrations like uh, this, this here also we, means here we can also inbound actions emails remote table query service catalog SLA task this here we can use the application but uh, for our requirement we have to uh, create the record okay so we can create the record created or updated means the when incident priority when the p1 incident is created or when the p uh, means for example we have p2 incident and if it is uh, updating as a p1 then our problem record will be should be create okay so we can create uh, uh, trigger created or updated so uh, first we have to select the table for this trigger condition means uh, when it on incident table okay let me uh, open incident so okay and it is the incident but when means for which condition it should be trigger means we have to set conditions okay so condition should be priority is critical and priority changes to means when the priority is updating to critical okay run trigger once only um, okay then our trigger condition is done okay then we have to set our action in the action we can create a record here also we have to select the table name which record would be create okay problem and we don't I mean so in the flow don't do the hardcore we have to select from data appeal this trigger record or updated then incident rec on the incident record and then uh, we can type our description description of the incident it should be populate here again short description also we want to populate then we can select incident record and short description on the uh, problem record okay then add a field uh, like uh, assignment group and assignment group also we have to select here trigger then incident record and then assignment group okay uh, then uh, we can select the category category also we have to take here from here category Um, same for these as well. Then impact. We can take the impact. Record incident record impact. Uh, that uh, much is fine it's okay uh, just we want to create a p1 incident so sorry a uh, problem record uh, for the p1 incident so just uh, as per your requirement you can take how much fields you want then just i'm clicking here done and it should be save first we have to save if we have to check if it is uh, saving successfully or not and then just activate our flow after activating only it will be to start the working okay yes activated also successfully then let's test um, incident dot do we will create p1 incident and then we will resolve that one then we have to check if the problem is creating or not okay caller
should be create after resolving the P1 incident okay then just we have to check the high urgency should be high then critical okay assignment group uh, app engine admins and then assign no need to assign save it Our P1 incident is created, then just we have to resolve this incident in the app engine. No need to uh, assign because in the app engine we do not have any user, so just resolve. And in the resolution information, we have to provide resolved by um, resolve by solution provided provided provide okay then click on resolve just check in the problem table problem dot list mm -hmm. you can check i guess this is our problem which created let me just check our incident okay able tutor is the caller caller we didn't take na? so uh, only we have to check the uh, this short description description and category an assignment C category is inquiry hill on the here also and then test for uh, problem statement is not came here because the short description field is not available on the problem record we can give over as our self and see you can see the uh, description problem record yeah and also we have we said the um, impact and urgency you can see impact and urgency the p1 p1 i mean so one one only and the assignment group is app engine admins you can see here app engine admins okay so hi here uh, whatever we feel means as per your requirement you can uh, feel like configuration item service service offering subcategory and if you want you can uh, as per the requirement you can just uh, mention uh, means whatever the require uh, whatever the fields you want in the uh, on the form here just you have to click on add fields and add your fields whatever fields you want from the uh, incident form okay so that's all uh, for in this video um, let me know if you want any other uh, requirement